Nothing. Don't what? worry about it. You just blew up, Connor. You, you threw that plate. Just let it go, Emily. Well, I can't. You're out of control. I can't blame you for being frustrated. Ever since you got back from the war, your whole life has been turned upside down. There ain't nothing I can do about that. You're on overload, Connor. Your wife died. You were on the run. And then I asked you to impersonate Nicholas to lure Helena out of hiding. I, I chose to help you. Okay, you no, know, you, you chose to go to Canada to start a new life. I'm the one who, who, who dragged you all the way back here, got you involved in this whole painful Emily, mess. Emily, I, I wanted to help you. I still do, but you but you need to start being realistic here. You know, what do you mean? Nicholas is in prison. We haven't been able to get him out. He's going to be exonerated. Helena's alive. Exon and unless the police see that, then Nicholas is going to be released. He, he may not be around long enough to get cleared. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to think about Nicholas being hurt in prison. Hurt? He could get killed. And now, and now, and then what are you going to do? You, you going to stay faithful to a ghost? Or are you going to move on with who's who's right in front of you? If the worst happened and Nicholas died, I would mourn him and I would move on someday, but not with you. You may think that now, you know, but... No, Connor, I know it. Just because you look like Nicholas doesn't mean that I'm ever going to love you. But, but we're the same, you know? I mean, you, you, you taught me to be Nicholas. I even fooled his grandmother. You're playing a role. So I know how I feel. And so do I. And I, I'm not in love with you. When I look at you, I don't feel anything. But when I think about Nicholas, I can almost feel his heart beating against mine. I miss the way he holds me. There's no substitute for that. I don't want to replace it. Not ever. You're right, I'm sorry. No, I, I, I guess just the pressure of all this is getting to me, you know. Just hiding out, waiting for Elena to find us. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Oh, God. No? Sky, is there any news um, about Nicholas? Anything <laughs> okay here? Yeah, yeah, we were, uh, we were hoping for some good news. Has, uh, has Luke found Helena? Uh, no. Not yet, but he has a lead. Good. Can you, can you give us any details? Uh, is, is she in the United States? Uh, Connor, do you think that you could get me something, something hot to drink? I could really go for that. Sure. Are you okay? Yeah, we both just want to get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. The family's really starting to worry about you. Oh, what have you told them? Well, not much. They know you're safe. And poor Dylan is covering like crazy oh, for you. God, I can't thank you guys enough. Oh, Emily, please. How could I not help you? I haven't seen true love many times in my life. And you and Nicholas... <laughs> The real thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that is why we have to catch Elena. You two deserve to spend a long and happy life together. And we will. This is all going to be over soon. Well, being around Connor must be pretty upsetting, though. I mean, he looks exactly like Nicholas. Know. Connor and Nicholas couldn't be less alike. Yeah. Seems kind of volatile. I don't know. Emily, you don't feel safe around Connor, do you? If it's a choice between getting stuck with Helena or Connor, I'd choose Connor any day. That's not very encouraging. Helena's a homicidal maniac. Listen, Nicholas is her weakness, and she's not sure who Connor is right now, so it's going to buy us some time. Emily, tell me the truth. Is Connor making you feel uncomfortable? Uh, yeah, we've had some awkward moments. Oh. Okay, that's it. You're getting you out of no, here. I'm going to hide you guys Listen, separately. I, I appreciate your being protective, but I'm okay. I wish I believed you. Listen, the situation has been hard on all of us. You know, Connor's still grieving for his wife, and he's given up his whole identity to impersonate Nicholas. I mean, sometimes he gets frustrated, but how can you blame him? So you're just going to grin and bear it? Listen, to bring Nicholas back, I do just about anything. Well, what should I tell the family in the meantime? I just tell them that I love them. 
and that I'm trying to prove Nicholas's innocence and tell them that I'm safe and that I'm going to be home soon. Okay. Well, until you are, I have something that should make you very happy. What? This just arrived today. Oh, it's from Nicholas. I can't stop thinking about you and the times we shared together. I remember the time we made love in front of the fire and promised we'd always come back to each other. And then later we ate strawberries dipped in champagne. It was heaven. I can feel you in my arms right now and smell the rose petals in your hair. I miss you so much, Emily. But we're together in these memories, so I hold on to them. Remember with me, Emily. Nicholas's letter from my purse? No. Mm -hmm. I distinctly remember putting it in the zipper pouch, and just now I found it in the main compartment. Well, I guess you made a mistake. Tell the truth, Connor. Did you read my letter? I've been in the basement all morning, all right? Even if I was up here, I wouldn't go through your purse without asking. fairly soon. Why? What, what, what's going on? I heard from my dad. He thinks he's closer in to finding Helena. And as soon as Helena's in custody, Nicholas will be released from prison and the two of you can get on with your lives. Oh, God. It can't happen soon enough. <laughs> Did Luke tell you where Helena is? How, how does he know he can bring her in? Well, he wasn't specific about the details, but he thinks he'll be catching up to Helena in a few days. Or weeks. You never know. You don't seem too happy about this, Connor. I'll be happy when Luke brings Elena in. Fair enough. Listen, I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I hear from my dad. We need some more wood. You want to give me a hand bringing it up? Sure. I'll be right back. Hey. You sure you can handle a few more days with Connor? Yeah, this guy asked me the same thing. <laughs> Well, there's a reason for that, Em. The guy's... he's acting weird. Mm, there's been... some tension between us, but... it may have been my fault. Why? What happened? What... what... Listen, listen, I need you to be honest. Do you think that I've been sending Connor the wrong message? Well, you've been pretending to love Connor because he's supposed to be Nicholas, but I haven't seen you do anything that would give Connor the wrong idea. Okay, thanks. Oh, it's just being alone with him all the time, it's sometimes hard to keep things straight, you know? Wait, has Connor accused you of leading him on? We had a misunderstanding last night, and he says that he's over it, but, like, sometimes I 
just catch him looking at me and this, everything about this is so upside down elizabeth connor has nicholas's face right so naturally i'm drawn to him but the longer i get to know him the more of a stranger he becomes we can, can change the plan em. em you don't have to stay here if you're going to be uncomfortable Listen, i can't back out now not when luke's so close to catching elena i just need a break this place is getting smaller by the hour are you two staying for lunch i got tuna and tuna do you guys need fries? I can... Lucky and I can go to the store, and, and why don't you just come with us? Uh, Emily's in hiding, remember? Yeah, I could, uh, I could stay in the car. <laughs> then why bother going? Hey, Connor, you know, uh, I think, uh, this would be good for us. We, uh, we just need a break from each other. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, is there anything you want me to pick up? Okay, have fun. Oh, lucky bought us everything we could need. God, it was good to get out of the house for a while. We... What have you done? You like it? I, uh, I found the strawberries in the, in the refrigerator, but I, I think they're still good. This is exactly what Nicholas described in his letter. You took it out of my purse and you read it. Look, I, 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 I didn't read the letter, all right? So, this this is all a coincidence? That the, the candles, the, the strawberries, the shit... Do you honestly expect me to believe that? I expect you to go with it. I'm not going with anything. In fact, I'm getting out of here. Well, wait, 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 wait. All right. All right, I read the letter, but, but only because I found it on the floor. You're saying that it fell out of my purse? Yeah. Okay, great, yeah, you're, you're lying, again. Yeah. And I don't appreciate you trying to recreate something personal between me and Nicholas. I just wanted to do something nice for yeah, you. Yeah, well, you've done enough. Right, listen, this situation has been stressful for both of us. And fortunately, it's going to be over soon. So until then, we just try to have to stay away from each other. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Did you go outside? Yeah, yeah, I went out, I went out the back. I thought I heard something. But I guess it was the wind, because ain't nobody around. You know, you didn't have to lock yourself in your bedroom last night. I, how did you know that my door was locked? I didn't try to bust in, if that's what you mean. So why don't you clean up? 
You know, last night was supposed to be a surprise. You, you didn't have to get all upset like Let's that. Let's forget that anything happened. I, 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 know, I know this is tough for you. No worrying about Nicholas dealing with me. No, I, I, I just wanted to make you feel better. Like when you baked me those cookies, you was just trying to be nice. That's all I was trying to do. And you got the wrong idea. Yeah, so did you last night. Hey, no more trying to be nice to each other. It ain't easy for me neither being cooped up in here. Well, hopefully we're not going to be here too much longer. Well, I see, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes. Unlike you, but you ain't got to worry about me. I'll keep my distance. I know my place now. I know where I stand. Hey, it's us. Hey, oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. Are you okay? It was uh, kind of a long night. Oh, what's all this? Strawberries and champagne, what's it look like? Well, we've got good news. Yeah, um, Luke is... <clears throat> Luke is definitely closing in on Helena. Yeah, yes. he's supposed to call Sky any minute with the next step, all right? So, we just gotta be ready. This could be it. I'm really getting out of here. By this time tomorrow, Nicholas could be a free man. And you and Connor will never, ever have to see each other again. The plan is to allow Helena to follow me and Elizabeth here. Here to the safe house? Correct, and my dad's gonna grab her before she can do any damage. So we have to stay put? I'm still the bay, both of you. Okay. Is that gonna be a problem? Not if it's gonna get Nicholas out of prison. Okay, good. Well, you know, Luke, he was a little vague about the details, but he, he said it was soon, so it shouldn't be too long. Oh, God. That sounds wonderful. Okay, listen, we gotta get going. Are you I'm sure you're okay? Yeah, I, um... I guess if I, uh, if I leave now, it's gonna mess everything up, right? Well, just a little bit longer. We're almost there. Thank you guys so much for your help. Nicholas is my brother. I want him back just as badly as you do. Okay, well, be careful, because okay. Elaine is dangerous. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. You've been a huge help in all of this. You wanted to leave with them, didn't you? Why'd you say? That's the plan. That's the plan. Time's running out, you know. yesterday, you know? Yes, I did. We could have found some place else to hide. You've wanted to be with me for a long time, haven't you? I want Nicholas. Track me down in Canada. Ask me to help you. Asked me to turn myself into the love of your life. So you could be with me, right? That isn't what happened. Hey, I went along with it. I changed my life to help you. You kind of owe me, don't you I think? I have money. I'll be happy to pay you back for your time and your trouble. been with a rich girl before. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what it feels like to be a prince neither, but hey, look at me now. I know everything there is to know about Nicholas. Except what it's like to be with you. Connor, stop. Nicholas had my wife. Come on, why shouldn't oh, I have this? Come, come, come on, don't. When I'm done, when I'm done, then you understand, okay? Come here. Come here. Hey, what happened? Uh, what? Luke found Helena. It's okay.
sorry, I lost it. I should have drunk all that champagne, I'm sorry. Only I knew you'd go back to Nicholas and walk away from me. That was the deal, right? Right? It's okay. It's okay, you can come back up now. Emily? What if Elena shows up here? She'll never believe that I'm Nicholas. If you're locked in the cellar, she'll kill me. And then she'll kill you. Emily? We need each other. Okay? It's almost over now, but I'll go back to Canada and you can be with Nicholas. Please, Emily, open this door and let me help you, please! in this whole Nicholas thing, trying to be exactly like him, the man of your dreams, the one you want, the one you want to be with, you know, the one you love. But you asked me to play the part, and I just got carried away, that's all. You know?
few days ago. You were begging me to play a little. You were so grateful that I was just trying to help you. I just can't get away from you. No, 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 forget that. We're going to keep with the plan. I'm going to stay right here, and I'm going to keep being Nicholas. You Listen aren't here. Nicholas, and you're never going to be him. Then why did you try so hard to make me just like him? Him? Cover it, please. Of course, yeah. Um, I searched everywhere. No sign of Elena. She was here. I believe you. What happened? I shot him. Why? Connor was insane. <laughs> I can't believe I talked myself out of knowing that. He had convinced himself that he could really step into Nicholas's life, that Nicholas would never get out of prison, and that I would turn to him. And when I made it clear that that would never happen. What did he do? He, he lost it. He hit me. We struggled. I, I grabbed a pair of shears and I stabbed him. <laughs> and I, I thought that I thought that it was over. I thought that I could get get away. But then he came after me again, and so I, I shot him. <laughs> and then Helena walked in right after, so she, she thinks that I, I killed Nicholas. <laughs> you didn't tell her it was Connor? I didn't have the chance. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, uh, we need to call the police. Let them know what happened. Tell them that Connor attacked Emily and she shot him in self-defense. No, no, we can't. Why? What? Why can't we? <laughs> police investigation will confirm that the body is Connor. Which means Nicholas will stay where he is and Elena will go back into hiding. Well, what are you suggesting we do? We'll bury Connor in the woods. learned anything from the disasters we made in the past the cover-ups don't work and if they do we really never got the hang of how we're in too deep to turn back nicholas's life is on the line and helena she won't show herself if she knows that connor is the one who's dead there's no other way this could go we can get rid of connor's body and helena will go on believing that nicholas was killed here tonight by emily his life is more at risk than ever like nothing happened here yeah it seems to be the best way a shower that's what I need hey, um, I know how you feel that's that's what I wanted that's what I wanted to more than anything just to wash it off scrub my skin until it bled whatever it took get clean Connor raped you, didn't he? I just need a shower. That's all. Emily, you can tell me it's okay. You know what happened. Elizabeth Connor was crazy. I shot him. Listen, if he raped you, you need okay. special care. Don't. Nothing happened. Look at you, Em. You're, you're terrified. Look, I killed a man. Elizabeth, he was out of his mind, but he didn't rape me. Oh. All right? Emily. Look, just stop it. Please. I just want to forget this night ever happened. I know how this feels. 
You have no idea, Elizabeth. A man with my husband's face attacked me. I had to kill him. It was more than an attack, wasn't it, Anne? You're my best friend, Elizabeth. If Connor had forced himself on me, do you really think that I'd keep it from you? Maybe you're just trying to deny what really happened. I mean, that was my first, first impulse. And right we... now, I just want to wash off. Emily, you really Look, need stop it, it, please. Connor didn't. I don't want to say it again. He raved her, didn't he? All the signs are there. Please, Emily, open this door and let me help you, please! Get away from me! No matter how much you hate me, you want to be with me. I was running fine until I came back in to get you. Then what happened? I don't know until I look under the hood. I just need you to hold the flashlight for me. I, I'd rather stay with him. I, no, I'm fine. Because the sooner Lucky fixes the car, the sooner I can get out of here. You sure? Go. Okay, you know what? We'll be right outside. Son's only flaw was his blind loyalty to peasants who were not worthy of him. Oh, he truly believed that you loved him, and this is the way that you would repay that kind of devotion? By shooting him in cold blood? That's not what happened. Now, why did you turn on him? Oh, did he suddenly decide to, to come to his senses and leave you? I didn't shoot Nicholas. That was Connor. My husband is in prison. Oh, please, please, please. You would say anything to keep me from ending your life. Connor was pretending to be Nicholas to lure you out of hiding. We were going to take you to the police so that Nicholas could go free. And our plan worked. So we made a fool out of you. We'll see about that. But you have lied for the last time. I still want to live. If Nicholas were really dead, I'd have no reason to go on. I'd pull that trigger myself. Emily, let's go. The car's running. Emily! No. Helena came back. She's good. Let's go. Drop the gun. Now. <laughs> Some days turn out better than others. Not only do I get to get rid of Emily, I get to kill a Spencer, too. Don't do it, Lucky. She's not gonna kill me. 
On the contrary, nothing would give me greater pleasure. You know Nicholas is going to hate you if you do. No matter what you say to him, he's never going to forgive you. Well, I'd offer you a wager on that, but you won't be around for me to collect. On the count of three, I'll kill her. One. Okay. Drop it. Drop it. Kick it away. Well, you've made this easier than I expected. Now hold still. Hold still. I'm going to try to shoot you both with one bullet. your ice chip of a heart. Well, you don't have to be quite so theatrical. Drop the gun! All right. Start walking. We'll wait for the police outside. It is a bit stifling in here, isn't it? A man's been shot. This is Spoon Island. No, not, not, not the main house. There's a crypt on the eastern side of the island. Yes, yes, a, a, a crypt. It, it's a, there's a little gray stone building uh, near, near, the, near the cliffs. Please send, send a meta back. He's unconscious. He's, he's bleeding heavily. So send the police. Helena Cassadine's alive. She's here on the island. Oh. Come on, Lucky. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, Lucky. Hear that? Police are on their way. At least I have the satisfaction of knowing that I rid the world of Luke Spencer's son. Don't count on it. I shot him at point blank range. Lucky's dead. The only thing you can be sure of is that you're going to spend your life in a prison cell while Nicholas goes free. Hey, Lucky Spencer's in there. He's unconscious. Don't even think about it. Drop your weapon. I, I can't. This is Helena Cassadine. Drop your weapon now. You know what? None of this is your fault. Not what happened. 
Lucky. I mean, not what happened to Connor, okay? Okay, you're right. Hey. Em. Hey, we'll be taking Lucky down to the ICU in a few minutes. Okay, thanks. sort of a panic attack. I'm just, uh, I'm so scared for Lucky and now Helena's out there and I just needed to breathe to get out of the hospital and when the doors close, I, I just lost it. You know what? Alan's right. You're, you're exhausted. Let me take you yeah, home. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the courtyard. I'm gonna get some fresh air and then I'm gonna, uh, go into the waiting room and, and take a nap. Okay, well, that could work or you could tell me what's really going on here. I'm on overload sky that that's all and mostly I'm scared for lucky. Mm -hmm. 